Hello dear kids, welcome to the Alda Learning Channel. Today we are going to launch a new project My Scrap Shop in Grade 1. It is a science project. Through this project we are going to teach our children about material. Here are a few contents that we will discuss in our today's presentation. So let's start our presentation from living and non-living things. What are living things? Things which can grow, move, breathe and reproduce are called living things. What are non-living things? Things which cannot grow, move, breathe and reproduce are called non-living things. Here are a few examples of living and non-living things. Animals, plants, birds and human beings all are examples of living things. Pencil, ball, shoe and fork all are examples of non-living things. After this discussion we will do an activity. Tick the group that each thing belongs to. First thing is paper flower. Paper flower is non-living thing. Tiger is living thing. Wooden duck is non-living thing. Pebble is non-living thing. Butterfly is living thing. Metal screw and clouds are non-living things. Now we will discuss what is material. Material are the substances from which something is made. Another thing for material is all the non-living things around us are made of material. For example, chair. Chair is non-living thing and it is made by wood. So wood is its material. Now we will discuss types of material. Wool, leather, silk, clay, cotton, wood, rubber and metal all are types of material. Now we will discuss resources of material. Material comes from animals, sweater, cap, gloves made by wool. Wool comes from sheep, tie, scarf, dress made by silk. Silk comes from silkworm. Material comes from plant, bag and shirt made by cotton. Cotton comes from cotton plant. Eraser, tire, balloons made by rubber. Rubber comes from sap from rubber tree. And other thing, paper. Paper is also made by the plant. Here is a video of paper making process. So let's watch this video with me. very long and difficult process so here is a message for you dear kids please please don't waste the paper now we will discuss natural materials natural material comes from animals ground and plants for example wool silk wood rubber and metal man-made materials man-made materials cannot be found in nature for example, plastic and glass. Now, we will discuss properties of materials. 
the things that describe a material are its properties for example hard soft rough smooth strong and weak now we have a video about sink or floor so let's watch this experiment with me little fox float or sink <coughs> The toy duck floats. My shoe sinks. The ball floats. My towel sinks. The cup floats. My spoon sinks. Uh-oh. <coughs> Here comes Mama. I sink. After watching this video, we will solve this observation form. So, first object is shoe. Shoe is sink. Toy duck and cup float. Towel and spoon sink. Ball is float. After this, we will discuss transparent and opaque. What is transparent? A material that lets light through is transparent. For example, here is a transparent door. What is opaque? A material that does not let light through is opaque. Here is a door of opaque material. Now we will discuss waterproof. What is waterproof? A material that does not let water through is waterproof. For example, here are few objects that we use during the rain. Umbrella, raincoat and shoe. Now we will discuss how do we describe materials. We can use our senses to find out more about materials. We can use our sense of sight to tell if a material is rough or smooth and shiny or not. We can also use our sense of touch to feel if a material is rough or smooth and hard or soft. So, dear kids, after watching this video, you will be able to analyze living and non-living things and kinds of material by doing different experiment and activities. I hope you like this video, so keep watching.